Hey guys, I'm Sherry Criswell, independent designer for Chalk Couture, and I've been seeing a lot of these vintage stacked books lately, so I kind of want to get my hand in it, see what I could come up with. So I have three actually vintage books that Cindy picked up for me. Thanks, Cindy. First of all, what you got to do is coat paint. And I used um, chalk paint in um, plaster, I think is the color. I didn't want bright white, I wanted more of an off-white. And you want to give good coats, two good coats, cover it pretty well and let it dry. And I painted all three of the books that I am going to put in a stack. Don't forget the inside and you want to paint around the edges. Paint over all the black. Then after it's dry, you can just sand it. And you don't have to sand the top because you're gonna stack them on top of each other. So just around the binding and the edge, just sand off some of that paint. Some of the gray will come through. You can also, as I found out, um, sand the pages because I was kind of a sloppy painter and I got the paint on the pages and I didn't like that too much. So um, as you can see right there. So when that dried, I just sanded it off. Now the coffee I really didn't need because I already had vintage um, books and pages. That's just to make it, the pages look a little browner. And now here I'm using a vintage laurel wreath, I think. It's a small one. And I just want to use part of it, so I used our tape to mask off some sections so I wouldn't chalk on it. And this is black velvet paste I'm using. There you go. Now, I, I thought I was in the camera, but I'm kind of half on, half off. Um, here I'm using uh, the, I think it's a Welcome Trio. It's a, a small A-size transfer. And I'm using that um, on the ends of the books. And now for the C, the C monogram, and we have them for every letter in the alphabet. Um, I first fuzzed it, because I didn't want to pull up any of the paint or paste that's already on the book. And then I'm using our new Shimmer Gold paste. We have it both in ink and paste. And then you just add your embellishments. But before that, I gotta glue them together. So what I use for that is the Elmer's Wood Glue Max. And this stuff, it works really well. Um, so I put it all on generously and then stacked them up. And then I let them dry for about 24 hours. Then, once it was dried, my husband put a, uh, a protective coating on it so that if somebody does happen, like me, put a cup of coffee on top of it, it's not going to mess it up. There it is. Hello, gather, welcome with the C monogram. I'm loving it. Okay, does anybody else want to try it? It really is simple. Thanks for stopping by.